good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we have a brand new wwe elite legends series review on the wwe elite series legends 15 target exclusive wave very hyped to finally unbox these figures i have had most of the series for a while now but i finally tracked down the last two in the set that i needed to complete it so i figured i'd do it all in one review we usually break down the full legends waves in one full sweep in one video and so i wanted to do that the last two i needed were the lex lugers here found both of those in the same area area and same target that I found the Macho Man Ultimate Editions. If you guys missed that review, go check that out from yesterday. I'm most excited for this wave for the cane. I found three of those. I've actually seen it like 12 times now, but I bought three of them. I bought three of them because I love that figure. I think it's going to be phenomenal. One of the different looks of Kane, one of the different fix-ups, needed the parts, things of that nature. We have Stacey Keebler first time on the line. Very excited to see her. Xbox here to complete our army. Just a very strong wave. I like this wave a lot. I think it looks really great. Cannot wait to crack them out, but Let's take a look at each figure. You got X-Pac here, which I think is cool. You got the DX over the thing there, and you have it down here, as you guys can see. I had to bend that, but I'm going to open it anyway. But X-Pac's here in his leather jacket, new head sculpt, looking pretty good. Back shot of the figure, a little bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. Next in the wave is Stacey Keebler, pretty good looking figure here. Kind of reminds me of an old school Mattel head sculpt with these heads. Not like true effects. I feel like they look a bit different, but first time in the line, Stacey Keebler, kind of unbelievable. We're finally getting her in the wave here by flipping it over you got a little bio read there you can read it now you have our cane figure which looks absolutely incredible i think this may be the best cane elite they've made today you get the world tag championship looks very awesome and you get the bio read on the back there if you want to read it you can pause it now very epic figure this is the figure i'm most excited for this is a beautiful piece cannot wait to crack him out we'll have him on surgery probably and last but not least we do have our two lex lugers you have the regular version and the chase version now i do believe that the orange trunks is the chase version with the white boots and then you have the black and red boots over here i think i could be wrong about that i want to say that it's the orange trunks but you get the interchangeable head there which i think is awesome i think this is the then now forever three pack re-release of this head sculpt over here but anyways man let's shut the hell up let's crack all these legends out of their packaging find out what these guys are about and see how legends 15 is going to compare to the rest of their figures and see how they fit into our collections so here's Legends 15 out of the packaging spinning round and round. I did not include the Chase Luger. I think the orange is the Chase, right? The orange trunks is the Chase. We're going to take a look at every single figure and their accessories briefly. We're not going to dive into it, you know, super hardcore detailed. Because we have so many figures here, it'd probably be a 50-minute video or something like that. And while I do want to give every single figure its time, it'll probably end up being 20, 25 minutes anyway because you guys know that I love figures. I'm passionate about this. So it'll probably end up going long anyway, but I did want to show them on the rotating base so you guys could see what they looked like as they spin around 360 style but we're going to dive into each figure individually and look at their accessories as well as some comparisons and look at you know look at what they look like up next to others get a feel for it see what we got and take a look at wwe elite series legends 15 or wwe elite legends series 15 anyways i'll shut the hell up and do so all right guys so getting into lex luger's accessories the regular and chase versions come with the exact same accessories so you're not going to run into any issues there now we did just see this shirt what was it we saw it with hulk hogan we saw it with the legends razor or scott hall that we got not too long ago i mean i'm talking to the t i'm pretty sure it's the exact shirt so they have gotten these out in full fruition i have a ton of these shirts man i can start a whole new faction of Wolfpack nwo nonetheless it's a great accessory i will never have a problem they could throw this shirt in with every figure moving forward i'll never get over the cloth goods you know what i'm saying i don't think it's going to stain the figure things like that so that's good it also comes with two interchangeable head sculpts now we have seen these heads before we have seen both of these heads before. These are not new head sculpts. It does look like they may have been slightly altered as far as paint or like they slapped a true effects over it. Maybe, maybe this one at least, but this is the WCW three pack bash at the beach. I'm pretty sure, except he doesn't have face paint on. If I'm not mistaken, he's got the nice ponytail in there. I like this a lot. And then you have the elite 30 Lex Luger, I think. What was it? Like the American gear. And then you had the white and purple gear that we got as well. I think this had the same head sculpt on it. So we've seen these before. I like both of these head sculpts. I think they both work really, really well for Lex and both figures come with both options so you can make and mix and match and even put these on other Lex Lugers if you want to so that's pretty cool I like these then for your interchangeable hands you get fisted hands which are always nice and you get the mic holding hands which make the world go round man every figure needs fists and mic holding hands all right guys so getting into Lex himself starting out with the regular version here is the head sculpt on the figure I like it a lot I think that the neck sets well on it or the head sets well on it same formula we've seen from Lex in the past except they've added double jointed arms you got the white wrist 
just a black trunks very plain jane figure you know lex wasn't about to shock the world at least not in this gear you know so uh, he looks pretty good here i got the fisted hands in there black knee pads nice chunky thighs in here he does not have ball joints actually you'd think he would with this body mold but he does not slight little thigh gap right there but going down to the boots you got the black and red boots on there really love this boot mold they don't give us this boot mold a whole lot but it's the taller boots it's kind of the ricochet-esque style boots where they're kind of the longer they go up the calf and the shin a little bit more they don't give us this often but they always give it to us with lex so he looks pretty good there i, I like it again it's very plain jane but I, it's enough it does what it's supposed to do it is lex luger now we also have the chase version that i want to stick in here because you do get a different look here i think for one i think i like the mullet look over the ponytail look for my lex at least but going down you get a little bit of a of a color variation you get the orange trunks over the black white wrist tape still and you have your black knee pads but here is the cleanliness here you have the white boots and you guys can kind of see that they're different they're not your macho man slash hulk hogan style boots and they're not your typical triple h or randy orton style they are slimmer and taller and they look really really good if you guys want to see what these look like next to each other looking at these figures side by side i i, I like the chase better i think that you could do some customs where you switch the white boots over here and you know play around with that give us your world heavyweight champion a little bit you know you can play around with some looks and stuff but here's both lugers not earth shattering they're not gonna change the world but i think this is a big need for a lot of people's collections so i know a lot of people are excited about these but that is pretty much it for lex luger and we included the chase so hopefully you guys enjoy that all right guys so for stacy keebler's accessories i like these a lot you know I, I can get down with these accessories that we got going right here let's get into our interchangeable head sculpts much like lex luger you do get two different options here now it's not my favorite head i feel like they could have better likeness but it's not atrocious you got the hair down version and then you do have the hair up you know secretary style version i like the hair up i think better i think it has a better likeness to her but maybe we can get more stacy keyboards down the line i'd love to see a dudley boys version or a team 3d version of course there's other options that we could get but i think those would be nice to see but stacy keyboards heads don't look bad here you know they're they're not perfect but they're not bad for a first go and i think that's what's important here again i think if i had to pick i'd go with the with the blend head sculpt but you also get these tiny glasses which actually look really really good on the figure and you know you just stick these or do they even go on this head they may not even go on this head maybe they do but i mean on the packaging she's wearing them so you'd think but i know they go on this one because i already looked but you can shove those on there and then bam a little frosty but i think they still get the job done you know it's still a nice glasses accessory to go on there and i need to see if they can go on this like even if i try and like rod and like yeah i think they can go on here so i think the best way to do it would be to go up under the bangs right there and then slide them into position yeah that's not bad right there that looks pretty good all right so we're we're you know we're getting somewhere with that so that looks pretty good glasses do fit the figure you gotta finagle it a little bit but you can't get it in there but i like that that looks good for stacy keebler also that you do get a clipboard accessory which feels really stiff and mine's a bit warped so if you guys want to you know get yours not warped what you'll have to do is heat it up and then bend it into position and then run it under cold water but it's got good sculpts and nice paint on there nothing written on there i think it would have been cool to include something written on there but i guess blank's probably the best policy for interchangeable hands you have your mic holding slash clipboard holding hands with no nail polish and then you do get the stephanie mcmahon elite 94 et phone home finger here with the long pointer fingers and no you know it's all skin tone so it looks a bit weird to be honest with the long nails but eh, i guess it's not too too bad i guess if it bothers you enough you can hit it with a splash of paint but you do get the pointing hands now getting into stacy keebler starting out with the head sculpt i think this head sits on the body pretty well as well articulation is not very good it's pretty stiff it's honestly very stiff on articulation and the frosted glasses kind of gets on my nerves a little bit but it's not bad you know you get the red lipstick in there you do have this torso that's not going to give you any articulation i saw where somebody took this head and put it on the three pack the epic moments three pack step they did a head swap between that figure and this figure and it made the step look really great in the you know in sort of the, like the suit skirt and it made the stacy keebler look really sick and like her black top look with the black short shorts so it really worked out well but you do have nice detail here not pinless joints but the arms feel really incredible on here like look at that double jointed elbow i don't know what it is but some female figures feel fantastic and some are the complete opposite but i do like the stacy keebler a lot even though you don't get a ton you do get a waist swivel though you do have the mini skirt down here in black i'm sure if you were to cut this off and cut this off you'd have a black top and black you know uh probably like panties look or or, or bottoms or something like that but then you'd be left with these black sleeves and it'd look a bit awkward probably gonna have to do some customization but you got her long legs here with the pins in there double jointed knees which look really good and you have your black high heels which looks nice so i think aew and jazz wears black high heels looked a bit better but you know this figure isn't much like legs it's not the most exciting figure of all time you know you don't
don't have the Dudley Boys camo, but I still think it's a great addition, especially for guys that grew up with Stacey Keebler and stuff like that. But for your comparison, I don't really have anything compared to except for the Dudley Boys, man. I want to see what the Elite 45 Dudleys look like up in here. And I think that, you know, if you wanted to customize her a little bit, I've seen where people have made some customs already using this figure. And if I had the time, I would be doing it right now, of course. But I like this, this Stacey Keebler figure a lot. Limited articulation, but at least the arms move well and the legs move well, except for the kick forward. You know, you're not going to get a good kick forward because of the mini skirt. But I mean, that's not atrocious. I mean, that's better than a lot of other figures, you know, especially the ones with pine cone joints. But that is Stacey Keebler up next to the Dudleys. Now for Kane's accessories, you get a little bit here, not a ton, but you do get some quality accessories. You do get the World Tag Team Championship, the Raw half. We did see the SmackDown half with the Elite 95 Eddie Guerrero figure, so this is nice to see in the line. Maybe they can include this with somebody down the line with Kane, maybe a big show, maybe an RVD. I mean, there's a few people that you could include with this for World Tag Titles with Kane, but this looks great. You guys know we're getting RVD with the Intercontinental Championship in the Ruthless Aggression Era Wave, which I'm really excited about, but this looks phenomenal. Really enjoy this. I like the tag title. That's always great. It's one of my favorite tag titles of all time. And then for his interchangeable hands, you get Mike holding hands. I wish that the glove was sculpted on. It is just painted on, so that kind of bothers me, but you do get Mike holding hands. And then this is really cool. They included the Randy Orton pose hands for his pyro entrance. When he gets in the ring, lifts up his hands, and then, you know, drops the arms, and then the pyro goes off in all four corners. Really cool here. I'd like to see the glove sculpted on the hand, but that's not too, too bad here. And it's pretty genius to include this with him. I just feel like his hands are probably a little too small compared to other people. Like, they included these exact hands with Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. So there's a bit of a mess up. You know, maybe larger hands of this of this sculpt would be cool. But I like the creativity behind this. Now, getting into K-Man, this figure is outstanding. I love this head sculpt. This is probably the best Kane head we've seen so far. Maybe outside the Ultimate Edition. For this era, though, this crushes the ringside exclusive. It crushes the Decade of Domination. You guys know that those had, like, the removable mass type kind of thing going on. And I didn't like that whatsoever. This mask looks really, really good. I think it could be repainted. I've seen a few people repaint it. It looks awesome, but the goatee and the facial hair, the eyes, the hair, this is a new hair sculpt. I've seen people put this hair piece on older canes. Really brings it together. I think I saw somebody put it on the Ultimate Edition. Looks fantastic, but I think the only thing Kane's lacking now is the torso. I felt like this torso is a little bit too skinny for him. They did upgrade his arm size, which I'm very excited about, except for when you give him the bigger arms, it seems that the double jointed arms with these smaller shoulders, Big E had this problem as well. It kind of creates like a loose arm problem. It makes the bicep look a bit loose and feel loose. So I'd like to see that fixed somehow, but the cane looks so good. I'd love to see this sculpted on. Maybe we'll get an ultimate cane in the future that's based on this look and it'll have these straps and buckles and you know, a girthier chest, stuff like that. But you got the painted on gauntlet here. You got the belt on there, black and all the black and red and silver and the belts and stuff. Again, if all this was sculpted on, it would be incredible, but it's not bad. I still like it. I like the red knee pads. I still like the figure a whole lot. You have two big black elbow pads on there. There's a shot of the back of the head with the straps. You got the hair coming down, going down into the big boots. I love these boots as well. They have a really cool look to them around this time. Got the big straps on there with the red details. This is the best Kane Elite of all time. I think it's I think it's fair to say that because the Kane Ultimate is probably the best Kane figure ever. It's so good and nice and it looks fantastic. So we'll see about that, but this Kane does look incredible and I'm very impressed with it. I love this Kane. This Kane is insane. So for your Kane figure comparisons, here is the Decade of Domination with the removed head sculpt or the Kane mask unveiling head sculpt compared to RBD as well because he was World Tag Champion with him. And I love it, man. This Kane looks phenomenal. It's a little bit different in Deco. Looks a bit better in my opinion. Of course, you do have the bigger arms on there. The mask sculpt is insane. See, I don't even pose my Decade of Domination with the mask. I have sort of the Here Comes the Pain look with the singlet and the bald head and then I have the mask removed head for the moment on the shelf instead of the mask head because I think it looks stupid. But now, I don't want to be insane, but do you need to get a Decade of Domination Elite and then get another one of these and put the mask sculpt over there and then get a bald head sculpt for this one? I don't know, Brad. Something to think about. But the Kane figure looks incredible. And for Xbox accessories, you get quite a bit. I mean, you guys can see this figure is pretty much a two-in-one, so you do get a lot of stuff here. Starting out first, we do have the camo pants. Same camo pants we saw with Triple H, with Billy Gunn, with Road Dog. We saw these quite a bit. We've even seen them. I think these are the same pants, just different mold. This is the same pattern, at least, for camo pants Champa from Elite 69, but they look really, really good. You guys can see what they look like on the figure in a minute, because I got two versions. I got one version for the wrestling gear, one version for the, you know, the full get-up, so I'll show you guys what that looks like, but the camo pants are very, very nice. Always love cloth goods. Speaking of which, we do have a black leather jacket, which looks really awesome. You guys can see what that looks like on the figure at a later date as well. Pretty sure this is the same leather jacket we 
saw with Finn. Same one we saw with the Attitude Era Triple H. We have seen this quite a bit, so it, it's always great. It feels great. It's like faux leather there. It's got Velcro in the front. You can grip it together. Poses well with figures, and now I have multiple leather jackets, so I'll never complain about that. And then we have the rubber accessory. Now, I did not see this coming. I can't remember whose review it was. I think, it, I want to say it was Bretto Lives, maybe. I watched him review the Legends figures, and I saw that this was rubber, and that blew my mind. I did not know that this was rubber. I thought we were going to get a cloth, like, sleeveless tee for the DX shirt, but we've seen that so many times, I'm sure that you could easily get a custom. But I've, I, I have custom ones. I have regular ones, so, I mean, that's not going to be a huge issue for me. But, uh, yeah, I did not expect that. Like, I guess they just hid that. They hid that well, but it is a rubber removable DX shirt, which we've seen multiple times from Mattel. You also get the DX helmet. Now, I think we saw this with the Elite 23 Triple H, I do believe. It grips the head decently. It's not perfect, but, you know, it doesn't, like, fall off really, really easy, so I guess that's all you can really ask for. X-Pac with the dead gum Freddie Benson's mom face going on. Look at him. He looks just like Freddie Benson's mom. We'll get into that in just a moment, but the last accessory you get outside of interchangeable hands is these sunglasses, and you can pop these in here, so they look good on the figure. That looks a lot better to me, because it does a little like Freddie Benson's mom, but hair looks a bit odd, you know? It's, uh, it, it's widened out there, but we'll get into that in just a moment, but the sunglasses fit the figure well, and I can't complain about that. These may be, uh, edge glasses from back in the day, but you get the helmet, the glasses, and you also get the DX suck at hands right here, the ricochet Kawhi Leonard, you guys know what I'm talking about. Got the DX chop at hands, and then of course, the lovely Mike holding hands to go with this figure. And I think they changed X-Pac's skin tone. I feel like his older figures had a different skin tone, but... So getting into X-Pac, starting off the head sculpt, I don't care what anybody says, Brad, this looks like Freddie Benson's mom, you know what I'm saying? This has got iCarly, Freddie Benson's mom written all over it, that's what it looks like to me, and Freddie Benson's mom actually looks like my science teacher from high school, Miss Yesit, alright? That's what she looks like. So, I'm getting all kind of different vibes here. Science teacher, actress, Freddie Benson's mom, all kinds of stuff going on. Now, this is not the best X-Pac head. I think with the glasses and the helmet, it looks better, which we'll see in a moment. This is a pretty sweet gear. I am a little bit bummed out just because I really wanted this exact gear, except in the green. I wanted the DX green version, and you would think you'd get the DX green version when you take into account this is, you know, DX inspired, right? The whole wave and these last few waves of the Legends have been about DX, and then we get the red, black, and white, which I am glad to get a new gear, but uh, this gear right here is some of my favorite ever from X-Pac with the lime green, so maybe we'll get that one day. Probably gonna be a little bit because we have so many X-Pacs and Six and everything coming out, but I really like the deco. I like the double joint arms. You got the tattoo on the side there. Looks really good. The white's very, very clean. DX over here. You do have your red lines going around to break it up. Same knee pads and kick pads we saw from the Elite 33 X-Pac, except they are plain black there, but I like this figure a lot. Now, I did get two different versions so you guys could see exactly what X-Pac looks like, not only in the wrestling gear, but in all of the accessories. So I got two of these here. May get an extra just for shishes and gigs, but here he is in all of his army gear, and then here he is in his wrestling gear. And for your Xbox figure comparisons, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the rest, the rest of the wrestling gear Xbox we've seen. Now, I do have the six, the Walmart exclusive, but I think I used the kick pads for a fix up, and I never put his kick pads back on. So for now, this is what we're working with. We have the head swap here for the fan takeover and the Elite 33. I like this head on this, and I, I like the black headband with the tongue out for this NWO gear. I just thought that looked really good. And then again, I do have the six figure, but I, I, I removed his kick pads, never fixed them, so I do need to do that, but you guys can see the formulas are very, very the same, except for the arms, and we do have that other 123 kid coming later this year in that Target exclusive 3-pack, but it is cool to see all these Xbox. I, I used to love Xbox when I was a kid, so this is cool to see all these, but now we can finally do the moment we've been waiting for, and we can look at what this Army Gear Xbox looks like with the rest of our DX Army, and there you have it, the full DX Army and all their greatness. Now, I think we do need, we probably do need a Jeep, you know, to bring it all together. It's not perfect. Their shirts need to be tucked in. They weren't wearing kick pads, right? Like a lot of them, were, they were pretty much all wearing army boots. I think I ended up getting two of the Triple H, two of the X-Pac. I needed to get another China, even though it's not much different. I never got two Road Dog or two Billy Gunn, so that upsets me. I'd really like to see, you know, both of those come to fruition, but they all look really good. I think this is a fantastic idea from Mattel. I'm just glad that we got all of them out before one of them got released or from contract or different obligations and things like that. So it is nice to see all these up next to each other, but I'm just glad that we finally got all of them up next to each other, man. That is huge, but I think all of them look great in gear. I'm glad that they went all cloth across the board, except for Xbox shirt under here, but you have enough of these DX shirts somewhere in the line that you could probably plug in there, but it is cool to see these, except for these baby hands on freaking China. That looks terrible. They gave them Rey Mysterio hands. Oh. But I think that pretty much wraps up today's review.
review of Legends Series 15 WWE Elite Target Exclusive Wave. I think overall the Kane is a must-have. If you only have to have one figure from this wave, it's the Kane. The Kane is the one to get, man. It embodies everything about Kane from this era. I think the Lex Luger is really, really good. As plain as it is, I really, really like it. Same thing with X-Pac. If you have any of those DX Army members, you gotta pick up this one as well, right? And this is the first time in the line Stacey Keebler. So I think they really did a good job with this Legends wave of completing it all here and wrapping it up in a bow nicely. I think the chase could have been, I think they could have done different on the chase. I think the chase would have been cool to do X-Pac in the green with white and black. But, you know, I'm not gonna be a nitpick. We're probably, it's gonna be a while since we get another Lex Luger. You know, we've had, what, three elites before? Maybe four? So, you know, I don't have any issues with it. You know, I'll, I'll build a bridge, but before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out, which is actually gonna go to JD Vids, who says, can you do a shelf summers 2022? And I have no idea what the hell that is. So I figured JD Vids could comment exactly what he meant. Can you do a shelf summer 2022? I don't know what that means. So if he could clarify that, that would be awesome. But these are Target exclusives. So if you guys want these, you are going to have to go to Target to grab them. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below on Legends 15. What your favorite figure is from this wave. Do you have any of these? Let me know down below. Have these been easy to find? I have found all of these multiple times so far. So hopefully they're easy to get, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. And and peace. You cross the line.